We're just swimming around in our glasses, talking out of our asses like we're all gonna make it. Yeah, yeah. But seriously, I haven't had any sleep, so I'm literally gonna be talking out my ass. We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. the black directioner it's about to be 10 in the morning and your girl hasn't slept since yesterday when I woke up at 11 o'clock so it's about to be a full 24 hours that I've been up and I feel absolutely amazing I mean I feel amazing but I know that the moment I'm done with this video I am going to fucking crash what we're gonna be talking about today is Something that's honestly low-key been bothering me. I've noticed that it's been bothering like a lot of people in the fandom. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna talk about it. So, okay, so today we're gonna be talking about um, the recent interviews that One Direction have been doing um, this past month, month and a half, you know, like half of October to now type thing. I just feel like it needs to be talked about because, not that we haven't been talking about it because we have, but I, I just, I want to tell y'all my feelings on it and how I'm feeling about it. So that, that that's what today's going to be about. Has anybody else kind of been seeing or noticing that it seemed like the, the recent interviews have been kind of like, what's the word um disrespectful now not all of them are like that not all of them um have been disrespectful to the boys but it just seems like everybody is tag teaming the entire band and i'm not understanding why i'm just kind of like what did one direction do that's got everybody jumping down their throats for no reason like it's something that i don't appreciate at all like interviewers what you doing like what's up with everybody asking the same motherfucking questions like, haven't you not looked at other interviews and seen that they've already answered this question? Why are you re-asking this question? Isn't it your job to be researching the people that you're going to be interviewing to be knowing at least a little bit of something or whatever? Don't make it seem like you don't have social media. You can easily go on Instagram, hashtag One Direction, find a bajillion One Direction fan pages and go and see what's going on with these boys if you really don't want to look deep into it. We know. So... That, that's just a little bit of it, okay, you know, of me being <laughs> upset. So, another part of it that we're going to talk about are the things that the interviewers are saying that are making me upset, and I'm just like, why? Why are you doing this? Why do you feel obligated to do this? Why do you feel obligated to say this? Why do you think this is making you look like a better person? It's not. So, <laughs> here are the things I'm noticing. Okay, so here are the reoccurring things that the interviewers have been talking to the boys about blah 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 Taylor Swift I'm sorry I didn't realize she was in One Direction how long was I asleep blah 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 the break yes the whole world knows that One Direction is going on a break if my dad knows that One Direction are going on a break the whole world knows that One Direction are going on a break trust me therefore you don't have to bring it up every time again other interviewers have already asked them what they're going to be doing on their break you think their mind is going to change no blah 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 hookups i thought we were done talking about hookups whenever they were younger like bitch who the fuck wants to sit here on live tv or where everybody's going to be able to watch it talking about who you didn't slept with don't nobody want to do that. Don't nobody want to talk about that. Usually you talk about stuff like that with your close friends. Not not with somebody that, that's going to air it to 100,000 million people. Do One Direction have thought tattooed on the top of their foreheads? Because I can't see it. Blah, blah, blah. JB versus 1D. Now all this stuff has already happened. You know, their album's are already out. We already know who's number one and whatnot or whatever. And yet, people are still asking... Yada, 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 this, this, and that. Do you think you're going to beat them? Do you think that this is a competition or whatever? One Direction have already said that they don't give a damn about these sales. Well, they well, they care that it sells, but, they, but not enough to just be competing with somebody. They want their fans to like the music because they work so hard on it. And that's all that should matter. Not this big-ass debate on who's the best. It, everybody is a best to everybody, you know? Like, there's a whole bunch of people who think that 1D are better than JB. There's a whole bunch of people who think that JB are better than 1D. There's a whole bunch of people who don't like neither of them. So it's just kind of like, who cares? 
Clearly One Direction don't care, so why are you still asking them about it? Blah, 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 Harry Styles. Bitch, I thought we established five years ago that this is not Harry Styles featuring One Direction. There's other folks in this band who work hard just like Harry. So why the fuck do people make him so superior? I mean, all of them are important as fuck. Clearly this is nothing towards Harry. Again, it's to the interviewers who just ask only Harry majority of the questions. Like, hello, I'm in the band too. Fuck with me. Blah, 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 perfect. So there's one line, one line in that entire song that all these interviewers want to talk about. So they talk about breakup songs once for the first time in their lives. And people making it seem like they're the bad guys. But but Taylor can write about all her exes. And, you know, everybody praises her for it. Everybody says, oh, this is a smash hit and yada, yada, yada. But the moment that One Direction say breakup songs, everybody automatically assumes, oh, shit, throwing shade on Taylor Swift. They've already said that it's not about Taylor Swift. So why the fuck everybody keep asking, making it seem like it's about Taylor Swift. They just said it wasn't about Taylor Swift. I'm, I'm not understanding. Please, please help me understand. Double standards, bitch. Fuck them. Blah, 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 Zane. Damn, this is the 15,000th interview since Zane has left this band. And we still talking about Zane? I'm not. We talk about him more than the dudes who are still in the band. I'm not understanding. Every single interviewer. So what were your feelings when Zane left? So how did you, how was this different whenever Zane had left? Or have you talked to Zane since this, this, and that? This was in all of the past interviews. They've already been asked this. Zane has been gone for months. You think they're tired of listening to what about Zane, 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 Zane? Zane's doing his own thing. You want to know what Zane's doing? Ask Zane. Shit. <laughs> I think another thing that really upsets me with the whole Harry thing is that a lot of people really, really, really seem like they make him superior, but they also seem like they make him the underdog and they like to talk about him and they like to say, oh, was this about that? Was that about this? And everything like that. Like they put him on the spot in the good situations and the bad situations. And I just feel like they should all be together as a band. The whole Ellen questions, talking about some never have I ever hooked up with somebody twice my age or whatever. Like who asks? questions like that what kind of a question is that knowing that the way that the media made harry's past is that all he did was date grandmas just like on adventurous adventures of one direction 2 all he does is date grannies so why not ask who else has who else has kissed somebody who's in, who's in their 70s and of course harry's gonna be like really really who else has had a song written about them really really clearly clearly not these guys Clearly not them, because everybody wants to talk about him right here. So, clearly he's going to say, oh, well, yeah, I did. But why would you even ask that? Why is that a question? I'm waiting for the interview to finally be comfortable. All these interviews, the boys just do not seem comfortable. And that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not feeling, I'm not even being asked the questions. But you know, whenever that one interviewer asks that fucking question and you just you sitting there smiling they smiling you just like oh they look good and then they ask that one question and you just really you had to ask that question you had to make their smiles disappear i just want to know what their favorite color is what kind of cereal they like to eat in the morning what made them what what made their fashion sense want to be what it is who inspired them to even want to sing are they ready for thanksgiving goddamn like why can't you just ask them simple questions i guarantee you it's not gonna be boring you know or something i it's not i just feel like interviewers make it seem so hard why why is it so hard and there's there's a lot that i didn't cover there's a lot more disrespect that gets thrown at them that has always gotten thrown at them but you know like enough is enough you know it's been five years these dudes are grown you need to start talking to them like they grown. They're not 14, okay? Like, you need to start asking them grown questions. Asking them the same questions about who the fuck that they slept with last week. You don't talk about that like... You, you don't talk about that to your coworkers, do you? Whenever y'all out getting coffee. Oh, I heard that you slept with Fred the other day. Is it true? Did he bang you good? You good? Are you able to walk today? What? Like, like... 
Like, just stop asking them questions that makes them want to jump out a window. Yes, I am in the 1D fandom, and I do know quite a bit about them. But you, as an interviewer, should know what the fuck to ask and what not to ask. Do your fucking research. If you saw the three people already asked this question, don't ask them again. You know what? I'm done. That's all I have to say about it. This is just what's been on my mind, what's been on my mental, what I felt like it needed to be talked about. And I feel absolutely better. I feel like I actually talked to an interviewer and feeling good knowing that I stuck up for my boys, whether they know that I stuck up for them or not. I know I stuck up for them because I know that they deserve better than to be treated how they've been treated. Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all have an awesome day, an amazing day. It is very bright, very windy outside where I am, and I would love to go outside and just run around and be carefree and everything like that, but I'm tired as hell, and I'm about to lay my head on that pillow and walk into dreamland because I can't. I hope everybody liked this video. Feel free to share it if you want to, and I will see you guys in my next video. I post every single week, maybe two, who knows, whatever. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and become a sour and join the sour community because we're awesome AF and we all love each other here and we talk about stuff like this and I'm going to be your mom and I'm going to be your crazy ass mom and you're going to be my child. So hopefully you'll be welcome into the family. I will see you guys later. Remember there were five Ds but Jimmy only protested for one and Jimmy says respect one direction. Say it with me now respect one direction. Hey, one more time. Respect. One direction. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Bye, guys.